Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a spooky spider web in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, first we'll start a new document in Illustrator. So I'll come over here to Create New. I'll come up here across the top and choose Print, and then we'll, put, we'll pick Letter, and then we'll go to Create. All right, so the first thing we wanna to do to start our spider web is to hit P on our keyboard to get to the pen tool. And I'm just going to click once, hold shift, and then click again. Um, this will just make a line. So just so, you, just so you have the same fill and stroke as I do, hit D on your keyboard. That'll give you a white fill and a black stroke. We really only want a black stroke, so I'm gonna click on the white and just choose none. Okay, and let's increase our stroke a little bit. So I'm gonna open stroke, I'll go to window, stroke. And all of the palettes that you see here are also under window. So if you can't find your character palette, you can just go to window, type, and then character. But most of them, you don't even have to do a fly out, obviously. Okay, so in our stroke palette, let's increase this to maybe four or five, just so we can see it easily. Now I'm just going to copy and paste in front. That's Command C or Control C on a PC. And then paste in front is Command F or Control F on a PC. Okay, and let's get near a corner now. That'll give us this two arrowed rotate icon. And I'll just hold Shift and it'll snap it to 45 or 90 degrees. And we want 90 degrees. All right, next let's go to our layers palette. And you'll see you have just one layer. So let's go ahead and click this little circle and that targets the layer. Then we'll come up here to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Transform. And this is where we're going to get all the divisions of our web. So let's go ahead and choose 30 for the angle. And I'm also going to turn Preview on. And we'll also come down here and choose 11 copies. And you can hit Preview to see what that's going to look like. Okay, this is perfect. So we'll say, okay. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in really close. So I'll hit Z to get to my zoom tool, which is right over here. And I'll just zoom right into this area. Now I'll hit P to get my pen tool. I'm going to draw from this second line to the third one because that'll give us an exact 45 degrees if we want to do this correctly. So I'll click once, I'll hold shift. You can see that it snaps to 45 degrees. And then I'll click here. And that will copy it because of the transform thing we did. That'll copy it all the way around. Okay, deselect with Shift Command A. That's Shift Control A on a PC. And we'll come up here and do the next piece. Okay, Shift Control A again or Shift Command A on a Mac. We'll deselect. And we'll continue to make these all the way out to the very edges of our spider web. Okay, I'm gonna Command minus to zoom out or Control minus on a PC. And this looks pretty good, but there's one more thing we can do to make it look even more like a spider web. And that is to change all of these straight lines to curved lines so they go in like this. Okay, so let's zoom in really close. Your zoom tool is right down here. And now I'm going to hit Shift C. Shift C will take us to this tool up here, which is called the Anchor Point tool. You can also get to this by getting underneath your pen tool and just mousing down to the Anchor Point tool here. Now when I hover over that line, you can see the cursor change. And when you see that, that's when you wanna click and drag this in like this. And you can see it really has that neat spider web look now. We'll do that with all of them. Okay, and that is how easy it is to make a really cool spooky spider web in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, and now I'm going to make a new layer and add a little spider to it. So for this, I'm going to get my ellipse tool, which is right underneath your rectangle tool. I'm going to hold shift and drag and draw a little circle. And I'll hit shift X to switch to a fill only instead of a stroke. So I'm going to zoom in now. I'll copy and paste this, that's Command C or Control C on a PC, and then paste is Command V or Control V on a PC. Okay, now I'll hit P on my keyboard to get to the pen tool, and we'll just draw some spooky legs out here. And I'll just switch these or hit Shift X to get an outline instead of a fill. 
and I'm going to hit I on my keyboard to get to my eyedropper, which is right over here, and then just click here to get the same width as those. I'll do the same thing. Hit P to get my pen tool and then make some more legs. Okay, so I've got these two legs. I'm just going to use my group selection tool, which is right under here to highlight both of those. And then I'll use my reflect tool to reflect them down. So I'll hit O, which will get me to my reflect tool. I'll hold option or alt and just click as close to the middle as I can get to these. And then we'll do a horizontal reflect and we'll do copy. I'll just arrow these down a little bit. Now I'm going to select all four and do the same thing. I'll option or alt click as close to the middle as the circle as I can. I'll choose the vertical axis and we'll make a copy. Now we've got our little spider. I'm going to select everything with my V tool, which is my selection tool, and I'll group that with command G or control G. I'm going to command minus. Then I'll have him dangling right over here. Now we need to attach him to the web. So I'll hit P and just draw a line from here to here. Okay, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.